you are watching teachers and in this video I will teach you how to write a prime number program in C. So first let us write the question. Write a program to find out whether a number is prime or not. So a prime number is a number which is only divided can be which is divisible only by one and itself so it will have only two divisors let us take an example of seven so seven is only divided by can be divisible by one which is only divisible by one and itself which is seven so it is a prime number so now we will start writing the program by including sorry okay so I was trying to do something so first we will include stdio.h which will include standard input and output library into our function into our program so first we will write the main function which is int main and inside that at beginning only we will write return 0 which will which we forget to write after the program so we will write it first now we will take a variable n we will initialize a variable n integer n which will be our number and then we will take a variable i which will be used for running a loop so now we will print or give information to the user to enter a number so enter a number to check for prime so now the user will get to get a notification or a get to see a display on the screen that enter a program to check for a prime so now we will in take an input from the user using scan which will be in percentage d because it is an integer for integer we write percentage d now the address of the variable using ampersand and the name of the variable which is our n so our input is done so now we will run a for loop from for which i will be equals to 1 and i will be smaller than the number n smaller than and equal to the number n so i plus plus it will make a loop of 1 to till the number so if n modulus which modulus means remainder i equals to equals to 0 the, the meaning of this line is if the number is can divide n and the remainder will be 0 then we will take a variable which will be which will count the number of devices so we will enter c here and in, initialize it to 0 let a comma here now the main logic of the program is between these slides so this is your small program and it will count the number of devices or number of factors now we will take if c equals to equals to 2 which will mm, get from the number that it is only divisible by only two of the numbers so we will print that percentage d which is the number which will be our number is a prime number and after the comma we will write the value of the percentage d which will be our number and then we will go down and then write else part so in else we will just write the opposite thing using percentage d is not a prime number and our program is complete so every time now first it will check from 1 to the till the number and every time it is divisible by c it is divisible by i it will count the number of devices so in case of 7 it will be divided it can be divisible by 1 so the value of c will be 1 and then the value of c 
will again be 1 when it is equals to 7. So value of c then will become 2 and then we will check whether it is equals to equals to 2. So if it is equals to 2 then it is a prime number and if it is not equals to 2 it will be not a prime number. So now we will enter dev c okay and we will open okay first you have to save it and this is our prime number program so prime number cpp and then we will try to debug it or run it so there was a problem here and we have forgot to write the value which will be inside percentage d so now we will again check and this time it will not give any error so enter a number to check for prime so first we will enter 7 and it's a prime number no problem now we will enter a big number which will be let's say 23 25 27 28 20, 31 31 is a prime number now we will check a false case for which it will be not a prime number so we will give 8 and it's not a prime number so now the program is complete if you want to know more or if you have not understood give us a uh, ping us using the contact us form and we will inform you about the process in private thank you for watching this video and if you are in the youtube channel if you are on my youtube channel you can subscribe to my channel for more videos i will be uploading one programming video each day uh, so that you can learn programming every day a little and get comfortable with programming languages thank you